Adding AR occlusion to your Unity scene will make it go from this to this, adding an extra layer of realism when real-world objects can occlude virtual objects. If you haven't already, make sure to set up your Unity 6 AR foundation scene and also enable plane detection as well as placement. If you don't know how to do that, simply watch the first two tutorials of this series. Then go to your XR origin under the camera offset, click on the main camera and scroll down. Click on Add Component and search for AR Occlusion Manager and add it. Here we do have a few settings to enable environmental depth as well as human segmentation. And let's first of all increase the size here of the settings and we do have fastest, medium and best. For now we're gonna choose medium. I've done some testing in the past which showed that it's not only this setting but actually the phone that you are using makes a huge difference on the quality of the occlusion. For now I think medium is fine but make sure to test around with it and also make sure to enable temporary smoothing to make occlusion more smooth. Then in the human segmentation mode, let's first of all enable this one. So we once have the human stencil mode. And this is a simple binary mask, so more or less a silhouette that we can simply set to medium, for example. And then in the segmentation depth mode, we can set that to best because it's going to be more or less a depth map. Then we can prefer environmental occlusion and we are done with implementing the occlusion. So then when we are on device, we can see that not only the environmental occlusion was working, but also the human segmentation in this case with a hand is working great.